The saying goes, some like it hot, and in nature there are amazing animals who are well adapted to the summer heat, and they know how to cool off. And guess who has some of those creatures at his home in Idaho right now? Well, our good friend, wildlife expert and host of Animals to the Max, our pal, Corbin Maxi. Corbin! Hi, Corbin! Cor hey, it's so good to see you guys. It's great to see you. Corbin, is that a wallaby in front of you? <laughs> this is a wall. I know, right? Like I'm in my backyard with a wallaby. Yes, this is this is a wallaby. He's an agile wallaby, and his name is Sherman. And we're so excited to be here with you guys this morning. Well, can Sherman? How does Sherman stay cool in this in the hot weather? Yeah, so that's such. I'm going to give him an apple too to keep Sherman occupied. We don't want him hopping off into the river. So basically, what they'll do to stay cool because they are found in Australia and they're also found in New Guinea is they will be active primarily at night, so they're wow. nocturnal. And they'll also listen to this. They'll lick their arms and their chest to stay cool. Wow. Okay, that's something yeah. that Hoda and I should try out. Maybe in the hot sun. <laughs> we also hear you that there's something really incredible that a pregnant wallaby can do. What's that? Yes, so this is the craziest fact is that wallabies and kangaroos, they can actually delay their pregnancies. What? Isn't that How amazing? That what do you mean? So <laughs> it's called um, embryonic diapause. Oh. So literally the wallaby, they can halt the development of their embryo. So if it's too hot outside, a wallaby can say, I'm good. I'm going to wait till it's cooler and they'll delay it. And I think over like 100 mammals can do this, but it's amazing wow. that they are able to do that. And it's a great adaptation in the heat. You can imagine, right? Yes, yes. indeed. Well, we're going to talk about the tortoise. And I don't know why you named the tortoise Perfect. after Jenna's son, but <laughs> Hank the tortoise. How does he stay yeah. cool? And Jenna, by the way, I'm so sorry that I named a tortoise after no, your son, Hank. But, but my son's name isn't Hank. Oh, it's so Hal. Okay. That's right. I keep forgetting. It's always I keep forgetting. I was going to say. The ages. I know. Oh, my gosh. And listen, I just forgot, too. It is Hal. I was like, it's not Hank. So this is Hank. And Hank is a sulcata tortoise. And wow. he's 10 years old. And he's actually about 50 pounds, but they can get bigger over 200 pounds. And ladies, they beat the heat with an amazing adaptation. You want to hear what they do? What? Yes. They dig burrows. So oh. they can dig burrows up to 10 feet deep. And like, like I said, they're found in Africa. So deep burrows. So when it's over 120 degrees, oh. these guys will be in their burrows. And the amazing thing is it's like 70 degrees in their burrows. So it's like having an AC unit, which is really neat. And they're so smart. So does Hank really chase chickens? Is that something Hank likes to do? Hank loves to chase chickens. He chases Deborah the chicken. I think we have the footage. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, poor Deborah. Oh, God. Always <laughs> hounding her. Jeez. <laughs> Just like Hank. I, I, I know. And I, I wish we could have got Deborah on the show, but she's like, I don't want to be near Hank at all. All right. Well, let's let's move on to lizards. And this one's name is Savvy. Oh, um, this is Savvy. Let's see. This Savvy. is Oh, look at this, ladies, oh, and you know I'm a rep. Wow. Yes, wow. Isn't that, isn't that cool? So this is a savanna monitor lizard, and they're found in Africa as well in the same habitat as a sulcata tortoise, so super dry. And so their adaptation, listen to this. So what they'll do is during the wet season in Africa, they'll gorge themselves. They'll eat as much as they can. They'll eat all different types of stuff, insects, scorpions, they'll eat small rodents, frogs. And then when it's the dry season, when it's hot in the summertime, they'll actually fast. They won't eat, wow. but they'll live off those fat reserves. Oh. Oh my gosh. So do you have all these animals just living in your backyard? I know, right? So yeah, so we have property along the Snake River in Marcin, Idaho. And so we have over 30 different animals and uh, the majority are rescued like Savvy here. And you can find more information on my YouTube channel and check yeah. out those videos. But yeah, so we, like I said, live out in the country, but I want to show you guys well, okay. one of my favorite animals. What do you, you have ready? over there? Okay, you guys, now I have to make sure Savvy doesn't get out. So here we go. Uh -oh. Are you ready? Three. Oh, hold on. Two. You guys, oh, you have a real this. Uh, come here, Clyde. Come here, Clyde. We need the cam. We need the carrots here. Ladies, look at this. This is Clyde the camel, and he's 20 years old, and he's 2,000 pounds. Oh, my oh word. My Isn't so that I'm incredible? Well, th those guys know how to survive the heat, don't they? Yes, they do. It's because they have that hump. So that hump can actually store up to 80 pounds of fat. 
So a lot of people think a camel stores water. It's actually fat, but then they'll convert that fat into water. But they can travel over 100 wow. desert miles without having to eat or drink. They're perfectly adapted for that. Corbin, that was amazing. That's a perfect way to end it. Thank you so much. Hey, Thanks, thank you. Corbin. I miss you, too. We miss you. I miss you. I want to see you. We'll see you soon. Okay. Corbin, thank you so much.